a four-wicket haul to Adil Rashid has guided Yorkshire to victory over Durham at Headingley in England ST20 Blast. The leg spinner picked up figures of 419 from four overs, including a textbook leg break that pitched outside the leg stump of Michael Richardson before turning past his bat and clipping the top of off stump. Richardson is undone by Rashida's brilliant leg break Getty Images Aussie Peter Hanscom chipped in with some sharp work behind the stumps, completing a tidy stumping to hand Rashid his fourth wicket as Yorkshire recorded a 24-run win. Earlier, Sean Marsh hit three boundaries in his innings of 36 from 31 balls before he and Hanscom 7 from 10 were both dismissed by veteran Paul Collingwood. In form left-hander David Willey was the star of Yorkshire's innings, hitting four sixes in his knock of 44 from just 27 balls as the home side posted 8,152 from their 20 overs. Hanscom will play two more matches before returning home to start preparations for Australia's Test Tour of Bangladesh in August and September. Whiteley makes history with six sixes Yorkshire overnight announced that Pakistan's Champions Trophy winning captain Sarfraz Ahmed will replace Hanscom for the remainder of the T20 blast. Hanscom's departure means Marsh will be Yorkshire's overseas player for their five remaining county championship matches. Elsewhere, Worcestershire and Somerset both held their nerve to win high-scoring matches against Nottinghamshire and Hampshire respectively. English batsman invents new shot in T20 blast Aussie John Hastings took 331 as Worcestershire defended at score of 8,208 against Knots, despite a 27-ball innings of 63 from England opener Alex Hales. All but five of the runs Hales scored come in boundaries, courtesy of 13 fours and a six, but at WASNT enough as Hastings claimed three late wickets, including that of state teammate Dan Christian for two. At Taunton, George Bailey managed just six as Hampshire fell 14 runs short in pursuit of Somerset's total of 9,204.